Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It has been a few months since we finished our Breath of the Wild journey, but there is still more to explore. More to this game was added through updates and DLC, and that's what we're gonna be starting as of this episode. With that being said, I do probably plan on being a little bit rusty in today's episode. I haven't played since November, it's now February, but I've caught up with some other games and I've been itching to play this game again. So the first thing I wanted to check out in today's episode was going to be, once I find it, I gotta, like I said, I gotta remember how to play the game. Uh, here we go. The Xenoblade Chronicles 2 quest. Now this was added into an update. This was like a free to play quest that I guess is to support the launch of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 when it launched, I think back in 2017. And as you can see, collaboration with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The Southern Sky from the middle of the largest bridge. The Eastern Sky from the skull's left eye. The Southeastern Sky from the peak of the tall pierced snowy mountain. Look at the night sky at these locations and find the red shooting stars. Stars left three. As you can see on the bottom, it says side quest cleared 75 out of 77, which is weird to me because I don't see anything else. So we'll have to get this one done and maybe something else will pop up. I'm not entirely sure. But beyond that, um, of course, we've gotten everything else done in the game. Um, we'll be going and doing the DLC after this, of course, but there might be some other stuff I'll do in today's episode, depending on how fast that takes. So taking a second look at that, Let's start with the first one. The southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. What is the largest bridge? Now, I know there are a couple, of course. There is a bridge here. This is like Helia. Most likely the largest bridge. There is a bridge here. Or, I mean, I guess that's actually, yeah, that one's pretty short comparatively, though. I would say. Yeah, definitely. So, likely, li it's likely that Lake Helia or Hylia has the largest bridge. I'm just sort of taking a quick look around, trying to make sure that's true. Of course, there's like a bridge here, but that's not very big at all. Um, so yeah, that's where we're gonna go then. We're gonna make at, right at the center, which would be here. We'll put a star there real fast. And then, well, actually, I should probably make it not a star, but one of these markers. And then facing south, which it does tell you when you're facing north on the bottom right, you can see there's a little, on top of the mini map, there's a little N, that means we're facing north right now, so we're gonna face the other direction. With N on the bottom, we're facing south. So yeah, we'll go over there. The best way to do that, of course, is to ta travel over this way. I do wanna give a big thank you to everybody who's been requesting more episodes, a lot of you have. And yeah, now we're gonna be back. I'll be trying just to get the DLC done. I know that some, there's two DLC packs. One of them, I think, adds a cool, like, dungeon mode or something where you can fight a bunch of rooms worth of enemies, and another one adds more shrines, and maybe, like, a little story mode. I'm not really sure. I've tried to stay away from it as much as I can so I can experience it for the first time with you guys. Beyond that, there really is only one more thing I could do, and that's earning more Korok Seeds, which I might do naturally over time. I know some of you will let me know in the DLC there is a Korok Mask you can get that tells you when you are near a Korok Seed, so maybe we can do that at some point. But beyond that, I'm not too interested. I just wanna enjoy the game, how it is, hopefully have a good time with everything, and uh, we'll see how things go. But yeah, it's so weird exploring this game now that we, I mean, technically we have not conquered Ganon because the game restarts to right before you beat him. Once you beat him, we do get a little star in our save profile. I don't know if I've showcased that, so I might showcase that at some point in today's episode. Uh, but here we are at the Bridge of Hylia, and we need to wait until nighttime. That shouldn't be too bad, should it? I hope not. Whoa, what was that noise? Uh, good question. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Uh, gotcha. Wait, no, come back, come back. Where'd you go, where'd you go? Uh, okay, like I said, expect me to be very bad. Oh, goodbye. Well, I'll take that. Oh, I can't. Oh, there's some enemies over here too. Very cool. <laughs> I really need to get back into the combat of this game. I am like a little wonky right now for sure. Wait. Did I take him out in one hit? Well, that was easier than I was expecting. Uh, I'll go ahead and use some weaker weapons against these guys if I can. And I guess I still have to finish the, like, the photos, too. Oh, nice, I got it. Mm. And, oh, I didn't get it that time, but it did get him again. <laughs> awesome. What are you doing? What are you, get out of here. <laughs> Alrighty, so that seems to be pretty good. I think that was most of them. Let's see if we can't get anything from all this stuff, then. Uh, I'll just use the claymore. Oh yeah, got a couple arrows, that's good. Could probably do with a couple more as well. Oh, do I have photos of these? I think I have a photo of most of these. Yep, Royal Halberd and Rusty Claymore. So, let's double check the quest just in case. Uh, the Southern Sky from the middle of the largest bridge. So we'll even stand on the fountain as much as we can to be extra sure if we, 
Can do that. Oh wait. There's also a Korok seed up here that I missed. Awesome. Ah, you found me. So there we go. There's another Korok seed, our ninth one currently, and like our hundred and something in total. So at that rate, what do I want to do right now to set up a fire? Of course, is going to be going over this way. Actually, no, I just missed it. Let me organize all this. There is our flint. Hold that. And at the end should be our tree, wood, stuff. And light it to flame. What? Oh, it went too far. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, hold it. Got it. And boom. There it is. So, sit until night. Let me make extra sure first. Just because I don't want to mess this up. Well, yeah, it is safe from, well, the night sky, right? In the middle of the largest tree. I mean, I guess it doesn't. But I'd have to imagine, oh yeah, at the bottom, look at the nice sky at these locations. Never mind. So we should be good with that. I'm going to go ahead and sit until nighttime and look this way. This way is south, I think. We'll, we'll take a look at the mini map afterwards. And we're looking for some kind of shooting star or something? Oh no. Is there an enemy nearby? Whoa, what was that noise? I thought I heard something there. Well, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, I know somebody's attacking me, whoa. What was that? That was super cool. Okay, go get it. <laughs> How cool was that? It's just, pew, so now we know the noise to listen for. That was so cool. Whoa. Look at this, okay, excuse me. I had a place to be, so you guys can have this parting gift. And ooh, it's a chest! What's inside? Salvager head, headwear. Collaboration Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Essential gear used by a boy who seeks sunken treasure in the cloud sea. It's a rather rare find. Swim speed up. Ooh, got new gear. I guess it's gonna be inspired by Xenoblade Chronicles 2, another Nintendo Switch game. Uh, that is super cool. And let me just, I'm sure this isn't something. It's just a treasure chest, okay. Had to make sure. All right, so where is our next location at? That was so exciting. Oh my gosh, glad we were able to find that one out. The eastern sky from the skull's left eye. There are a lot of giant skulls, but I'm guessing it means the most recognizable skull would be the giant skull thing. So the eastern sky from the skull's left eye. So we're actually just gonna teleport right to this one. And since it's still nighttime, I might have to restart the day. We'll have to wait and see. But a late, oh, actually no, is this, a, it's his right eye, technically, but if, but it's our right, it's left. Maybe we'll have to try both. That's a little, little inconspicuous. Cause it does say the skulls, as it's, I don't know. Huh. All right, well here we're at the Zunakai Shrine, and we're looking east. So east is this way. I'd imagine then it would be this one. I mean, it's still pretty early in the night. I'll wait here for a minute or two, because it happened darn near, near instant, intr instantly. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister for some reason. Um, So where's the other eye? Well, the other eye is on the floor, so I want to make too much sense. And it might not even be this skull, but this is the most recognizable skull in the game. Huh. <gasps> oh, do you hear that? There it is. All right. <laughs> Let's get over there. We gotta be careful because it is raining. It's not thunderstorm just yet. Oh my gosh, this is working out pretty well. See, this is why it's good to 100% the game when, it, when we get a quest that tells you to explore through it. We know where everything is. This is super cool though, I love it. So, um, yeah, we're doing pretty well so far. I do need to climb up this, which might be a bit of an issue. Uh, board's gonna sprint up it real fast. Go, 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 go. Got it, good job, good job. All righty. Got some wolves over this way. Not too worried about them. They're howling. How many rupees do we have? We have a fair chunk. I mean, there's still a lot for me to do in the game. I know I was saying that I only have the Koroxes, but in reality, when I think about it, there is still a lot of gear I can get, and I will be trying to maybe earn up some of that stuff throughout the rest of today's episode once we finish with this. Okay, can you guys get out of here? Thank you. Uh, let's take a look what's in here. This is the Salvager Vest. 
course, once again, collaboration, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, essential gear used by a boy who seeks sunken treasure in cloud, uh, the cloud sea. It's rather rare find. So it does, it does it just say the same thing over and over again? I guess so. Let's go ahead and equip this one as well. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. And let's take a look at the last thing. It is uh, the southeastern sky from the peak of the tall, pierced, snowy mountain. Pierced, snowy mountain. That's the thing, there's a whole heck of a lot of mountains that are snowy. I mean, I guess there's two. But which one do they mean? Let's travel to this tower and maybe we can get a good look at both of them and we can decide. Tall and pierced. I don't know which one is taller and maybe that is going to, I mean, it didn't say tallest mountain, but you never know, right? So we'll figure out what we can figure out with this one. We're making excellent progress with this. I thought this might take a whole episode. I guess not. <laughs> But that's why I did what I say. I want to bring some of the animal, not the animal remains, the monster remains to some of the skull stores. Try to get some other gear that way. That'd be cool. Want to earn up some of that stuff and maybe spend the rest of today's episode taking out more monsters. That might be useful as well. But in the meantime, oh, it's cold here. Uh, See, that's not peaked at all. So it's going to be that one for sure. What was that? I saw something over there. That was not red though, and it wasn't making the noise. Maybe that was just a visual effect? I don't know, but we'll definitely have to get some, you know, prepare for the cold that we're about to enter, because it's gonna be really cold once we reach the peak of Hebra here. I think this is about the tallest part. So we'll find out together, see what ends up happening. Hopefully good stuff though. Alrighty, so, I am so happy to be bad playing this game. I hope you guys are too. A lot, like I said, a lot of you have been requesting, hey, can we see more? I've been I've been working to, towards it, for sure. <laughs> okay, so we're about loaded into this. And here we are, this is the Goma Asa Shrine. We'll have to climb up the rest of it. Because we're not quite at the tippity top just yet. But I'll keep my ears out. Ooh, that's a steep climb from where we are. But that's the highest up shrine, right? I believe so. All right, well, I'll do what I can about it. And it looks like it's just about, actually, no, it's 11.25 p.m. It's just very bright around here, I guess because all the moonlight reflects off the snow, just like in real life. I actually just hope that, oh, I can't climb up this. This is pure ice, I can't climb up it. I don't think, it wasn't letting me. What's with all the wind? Is there a dragon nearby? There may be. Usually there's only this much wind when there's a dragon. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, the drafts. That's sort of a big thing with this mountain, isn't it? Okay, so we'll try this one. There is the dragon way over that way though, so I don't think his wind is gonna be affecting us. All right, go up like this, very good. That certainly helps. Whoa, we're going and going and going. It's hard to see where the top is, to be honest with you. Oh no. I hope we can find a way to climb this, because if not, I'm gonna be falling all the way back down. No, I can climb this one, awesome. Okay, this is where it's good to have max stamina, isn't it? Okay, keep going. And now we're gonna make our way up that part. Once we get Revali's Gale, this kind of stuff will be much easier again, but right now it's restoring. And I don't know, I mean, it's technically still nighttime. It's rolling in the morning, so we might actually have to set up camp at the top. We'll have to see. Come on, go, go, go. Whoop, nice stuff. Almost there. <laughs> One bit at a time. And we got it, very cool. This definitely has to be the highest peak. Has to be. Get up there quick, quickly. And then we need to face the southeast sky. What am I doing? <laughs> that was really funny. We were just sort of hopping up it. But, okay. And look at this, uh, this is definitely, obviously, a Korok seed. Yeah. All right, well there we go. We have 10 in total now. That's awesome, sorry. So the southeast sky, this is south. Well actually south, well, let's let's switch it back here. So it goes northeast, southwest, west. I can't pronounce anything right now. Oh, here we go, where is it? There it is, southeast, right here. And there it goes. So there we go, there's the third and final one. Oh, I'm so excited. Come on, let's go get it. Oh, we're falling, okay. Not bad, not bad. Almost there, we have plenty of sound on just to glide all the way over, so we should be fine. And with that, the Xenoblade Chronicles mission is already done. 
Whoa, not up, not up. I need to go back down. What is that down there? Uh, oh, it's a little wolf. I probably have a photo of you, but it's always worth checking. All right, excuse me, sir. Got places to be. And here we go, the final part of it. It is trousers, of course. Essential gear by boy who seeks sunken treasure in the cloud sea. Very cool, so we'll head out of here some more warmer so we can actually put this gear on. It does make him swim faster, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and delete that pin. But now, as you can see, the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 quest is complete. Awesome. Now the game still says I've only cleared 76 out of 77 side quests, which confuses me greatly. Does that mean that I have missed something somewhere? I mean, I suppose so. So maybe I should check a list of things maybe that I have may have missed. Either way, we'll go ahead and go back to, you know, our normal, our I guess the first run we ever raised, where is that? That is right here. And we'll go ahead and put this gear on. Okay, so here's the deal. First off, let's go ahead and showcase the new gear. I actually found which quest I'm missing. So there is a side quest, it is the um, special delivery. Now, I actually remember this. We were traveling up the path to Zoro's Domain and we actually passed it thinking, and I thought, okay, maybe that's something I should check out later. I think I might have even started it wherever she was standing. Um, I couldn't refind her. But apparently I need to talk to her because she actually has a side quest. So I gotta go and find her again. Um, but in the meantime, like I said, let's go ahead and take a look at this gear because honestly, I mean, it might be useful because we do need better swimming. And look at that. So this is very cool. We get a uh, swim dash stamina up. I like that. And is there a way to take a better look at it? I forget. There we go. Look at this. Pretty gosh darn cool. I like it. Um, I'm guessing we can take a photo of this stuff as well. I don't remember. Self-portrait. I don't know if you can take picture of gear, pictures of gear, I don't think so. Anyways, with that being done, I guess I'll start exploring a little bit of, wait, that was the Tina Village, wrong place. I'll explore a little bit of Zora's Domain, try to find that girl, and we'll get started with that. Okay, so we're about ready to go and check it out, but I do see this guy over here. So let's see if we can't talk to him before he flies away because it's about to become daytime, it's 3.35. Honestly, a lot brighter than I expected. Hi, it smells like Bokoblin, or maybe, Ah, oh, it's you! Ah, that heavenly smell! Could it be that you've got, uh, you've been mingling with monsters? I must admit, I'm a bit jealous. Good evening. Good evening, how may I help you? Um, spend some mon, exchange for mon. Let's, help, let's see how much mon we have right now. Your current balance is 741 mon. What mons would you like to buy? So we have already purchased most stuff, but I haven't purchased everything. I wanted to save it for the most expensive thing, which we're almost at already. 741 for that, actually no, this is the most expensive stuff, so. Lots to earn up then, and I don't really have too much else for my monster stuff, so I might as well go ahead and give most of what I got. Um, uh, which isn't to say I have a ton. Uh, well, these are all like dragon pieces, and here's most of our other stuff. So I can, what do you want to give me? Let's go ahead and give him like 250 right now. I don't really know what else I could use him for, but having a little reserve might be helpful, just in case. Um. So we'll do 250, and that'll be a lot. That'd be 750. So there we go, that's gonna get us up quite a lot. And then this one, Boca Bone Fangs, we have even more of these. Uh, we could do, we'll just do 300 of these ones. That should be pretty good, right? <laughs> He'll be happy about it. We're definitely gonna get a lot of Mon from this one. Come on, a little bit more. And there it is, 300 on the dot. 1,500, wowie. Okay, and then we also have uh, Boca Bling Guts. We have 145 of these. Let's go ahead and give them 100. That would give us 1,000. So that's actually really good. Oh, there it is. Okie doke, so 1,000 mon. So we have quite a lot, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and give him also another 100 of these. Oh, actually, these only give him two. So you know, we'll do 100, though. So that'd be 200 in total. A little bit cheaper, but that's fine. That's why we have a lot of them. We have almost, we have over 4,000. That's pretty crazy. These give six each, and we have a ton of them. We're gonna go ahead and give them 300 of them. Or actually, let's give them 400. That'll be awesome. And then after that, I mean, hopefully we'll have enough for anything we want. We'll have to see if there'll be anything more we need. But that may be all we need. So go ahead and give them a whopping 400 of these that we just have sitting around in our backpack. That's hard to fathom. 
Very cool. We have over 6,000. We have 6,591 in total. So that's pretty good. So spend some on. Insane amount right now. Go ahead and buy the most expensive things first. So we'll try to check these things out in an upcoming episode or something. We got the Dark Hood. Uh, this headgear is the product of Kilton's monster research. He crafted it with a monster born from the shadows in mind. The eyes go an eerie red in the dark. Go ahead and buy that for 1,999. And then we got the Dark Tunic. Kilton developed this jet black armor as a result of his monster research. It's a a spurious replica of the green outfit once worn by a legendary hero. The only thing I can imagine that we could use our monster parts beyond this, of course, are going to be the actual upgrades, but we need to do this stuff as well, you know? The result of Gilton's research into monsters looks like your average leg wear at first, but with the, well, but these were created based on the image of a monster born of darkness. So we got all this cool dark link stuff. Okay, I'm gonna buy those. We have 2,594 left. So we got the monster saddle. Kilton handmade this saddle. Apparently he had some or some sort of monstrous horse in mind as he worked on it. It looks strange, but certainly usable. Uh, that's interesting. I wish we could actually put that on a stall horse, but unfortunately we can't get those. Um, or we can't like, you know, put those in our thing. Uh, this brittle, or bridle <laughs> was handmade by Kilton, but it looks like he may have had some serious monstrous, some monstrous horse in mind when he made it. It includes a mask that conceals the horse's head. Very cool. So um, yeah, Monster, Monster Bridal. Go ahead and buy that one. And we're almost out of cash here. We might actually run out, surprisingly enough. So Lionel Mask, Kilton's handmade Lionel gear. It's so well crafted, it can deceive a real Lionel. Equip it to blend in with Lionels, but don't linger too long. Those beasts are smart. So they'll eventually figure it out. 999, bringing us down to 897. Okay, and we get the Zalfos Mask. We have one of these already, I think. I, if I leave, he's going to leave. He's gonna fly away, or maybe not. Anyways, um, yeah, I have those. Interesting, so I guess I could get them again if I wanted, but that's really all the dark gear I wanted from. I'll just double check to make sure that's everything then. Uh, oh, well actually these things. We got a wooden mop. I don't think we need that, but we never got the spring-loaded hammer. Uh, the strange hammer is one of Kilton's specialties. Being struck by it doesn't hurt much, but the, f but the fourth swing, the fourth swing in a string of attacks will send the victim flying. Huh, there we go. So that's everything. <laughs> Very cool, um, goodbye. Uh, I hope to see you again another monstrous night. So we now have this thing. <laughs> Hold it! All right, so now that we've done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to this one. This is the one I think I need to do. Um, we're gonna edit this stamp and make it a red one. There we go. That's all I had to do for that. So yeah, super duper cool. Uh, we're getting a lot done in today's episode. I like it. Um, so we're pretty good with making some progress with everything. Gonna go up this way. There's some birds flying away. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool that we're about to do our final side quest. I had not realized I missed this one or I would have done it before defeating Ganon. But I'm a dingus, what can I say? So uh, we're almost there, I think. Once like once we get to a higher point, we can just glide down to her and I think it'll be fine. Because we had actually passed her. Oh yeah, forgot about you. I'm ignoring you for right now, gotta be honest. Unless I haven't gotten a picture of you, which I'm almost positive I have. Yep, Blue Hinox, easy enough. Be honest with you, just, just not much I haven't taken a picture of. But we'll have to wait and see if that continues. Rivali's Gale is now ready. All right, so we got Revali's Gale. Not like I really need it at the moment. I'm just gliding across this way and it should just be right over here. As far as I remember, this is the one I marked for this specific reason. Oh, I see her. All right, so this quest wasn't even started. It's not even on my list, so let's talk to her now. Yeah, Finley. Oh, it might be, might be a he. Find him. Oh, you. Huh? Excellent. Okay, I'm going to throw the letter in now. Are you ready? Okay. These letters contain break easily, or containers break easily, so please be careful. So I have to follow it? What am I doing here? Uh, I guess I'm following it. Here we go, now this is finally here. Follow the letter down the river without losing sight of it, and find out who receives it. The letter's, uh, the letter's casing is fragile, so take care even when pursuing it downstream. If you lose sight of the letter, return to Finley and try again. So am I supposed to just, yeah, there we go. Am I supposed to like physically follow it in the water? 
I mean, maybe not. Like, maybe I'm supposed to go out in front of it so we can destroy some of this stuff before it reaches it? I have a feeling that's what we gotta do. So, that's gonna make this a lot, no, dang it. A lot more difficult, especially when I do things like that. Okay, we gotta do this quick now. Whoop, bah! All right, well, let's hope that works because it's not going to work. Uh, no, not in the water, not in the water. This is a problem. Um, I don't know if it's just gonna hit that and what'll happen then, will it break? It won't break, which is good. Throwing this without it exploding that is actually going to happen. Huh, all right, interesting. So it's still alive and well. That's just a, a bird. Don't have to worry about that too much. I don't know if I've ever taken a photo of that bird. What do I do about this? Uh, that's a waterfall. Um, no, come on, get up, 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 up. Come on, come on, this is awkward. Very awkward, has it gone down yet? Not yet, not yet, somehow. Some way. Will it just break from this though? This whole area is very slippery. Uh, no, it's still going. Awesome, I believe in you. Little package. Okay, so I need to get onto some land here. Like that. Come on, it's so slippery, I know. Still wish there was a piece of gear that uh would make it so that I'm, um, what's it called? <laughs> So that we could not have to slip in wet situations. Can I just like force grab it with the, the magnet? That'd be so easy. It'd be too easy. Um, so let's take a look at what's going on. I'm trying to look back at it as much as I can. If I just move too far away, it's gonna break by something. So I feel like that's a challenge, right? The challenge isn't, there it is. The challenge isn't really so far seemingly keeping it away from the threats, it's just keeping up with it. Which isn't too bad when we have max stamina. I can imagine this would be really difficult if we didn't. Because we would be trying to... I really don't think I have a photo of those birds, so that is concerning me a little bit. But I, I'm guessing it'd be a lot more difficult if we had to keep up with it. Oh, what do we do here if it gets stuck to the right? It looks like it's on path to, too. So I don't like that very much. Oh no, oh no, hold on, hold on. Where are you? Get out of here, get out of here. That should definitely be enough. It's going this way. Um, If it hits this shallow land, pick up. Oh, I can just pick it up. Okay. I don't know how long I'm allowed to do this for, but it might be my best bet, because and find out who receives it. If the letter casing is fragile, so take care when pursuing it downstream. I don't want to carry it forever then. Just, oh gosh, long enough so that I can, you know, see what ends up happening to it. Oh, you jerks. Nice, okay, and then you're gonna pop out. I'm gonna get you too, look at that. My skills haven't wavered. I mean, maybe they have, I don't know. Is it gonna be able to move down the water there? Or is it gonna get stuck? It looks like it's getting stuck, so. I'm gonna move those things. Uh, I'm gonna throw it down like that, take some more stuff. Oh, don't get stuck again. Ooh, it's good, it's good, it's good. We're in the clear for now. Oh no, so we got our first enemy over this way. Where is it? Has it made its way under the clearing? It has, so it's still gonna move. I'm just gonna quickly try to take this dude out in one hit, nope, in two. Oh, you stinker, can you just... There, that's all I need, maybe. Oh, wait, wait, this is actually the funny hammer, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, I gotta be quicker with this, this is where it gets risky, this is where it gets really risky. You can see there is at least one dude in the water down there, and we have to stop him from being evil. Um. Which, you know, might have been smarter to do. Is that hurting him whatsoever? Okay, that hurt him a little bit. Um, There it is. So maybe if I make him mad, he's gonna go for me instead of my precious letter. Oh, come on. Really? See, was that so hard? So we're still not done. <laughs> we're still not done. This is gonna go on for a while, huh? Okay, it's right there. 
Because I'm pretty sure if we just carry it the whole way, it's not gonna work. The only problem now is I'm starting to run out of arrows, which is not preferred. Um, these aren't tough enemies though, so I could try something lighter, but that's still my weakest weapon. I also wanted to approach one thing, as some people mentioned, that I feel really silly about, is that I saved on to all of my ancient arrows and never used a single one of them, and why was that? Well, honestly, when we first got our first ancient arrow, one of the characters said like, hey, hold on to this for a while, it's going to be important later. You don't wanna waste these. So I was like, okay, never use them, got it. <laughs> so I never used them. So by the time I actually had a lot to use against Ganon, I was so used to not using them, the thought of using them never struck my mind once. All right, he's gone. I did see a little treasure chest over this way, so I wanna snag that. I don't know what's in here. I have never seen this. This has a bomb arrow, just one singular bomb arrow. I'll take it. Okay, so so far this little traversing, oh yeah, that's right, everybody here has a thousand arrows. So even the enemies that don't have Bows and arrows drop arrows in this area, which is weird, because it's not like that in any other place in the game, as far as I've seen. So, so far this isn't too bad, but I can see where it might end up getting bad soon enough. There we go, got him. So, I wanna quickly grab that stuff. None of that was arrows, unfortunately. Okay, we're good, we're good. Whew, how far does this thing have to go, and will we run into enemies over that way? I mean, I'm sure that once we do this once, all the enemies will be taken out. And then it'll become a lot easier. Oh, don't get stuck. Because it doesn't tell me where exactly I'm supposed to go, how far, what we're gonna run into, because right now the water's about to get a whole lot wider. So we can only hope that it's gonna go the way it's supposed to go. I mean, obviously there's a general current it's going to follow. Hmm. I'm trying to be a good chunk ahead of it. I'm afraid that if we leave it too far, it's just gonna sort of disappear in like that video game magic kind of way. You know, where it's like, oh, you just walked away from the, the mission objective. You lose. Um, because I wanna see what we can handle about all this stuff coming up. Because it looks like we have an enemy outpost over here. I need to switch my uh, thing to this, I guess. Let's see if we can't get this guy's attention. Hey, oh, there we go. Awesome, <laughs> that's what I wanted to see because there's going to be enemies over here, like guaranteed, right? I mean, I don't see any just yet. And also this letter was supposed to be some kind of a, uh, whatever they're called. I don't think it is. I mean, so far I'm not seeing any enemies here. Ooh, but do you see all that debris in the way? That's a concern. Let me get over there real fast and see what we can do about it. I mean, the best thing, of course, is going to be throwing one of these. And boom. Do that again, a little bit over maybe. There, here comes the letter, so let's just try to be ready for this. It's coming quick, so. Hopefully that's enough of an opening. I mean, our bomb didn't destroy it last time. But you never know. And there are some enemies up this way. Only one though, really. And then after that, I'm not seeing too much blocking this off. So if it makes it under, it made its way under the clearing. I'm gonna run up this way real fast. Really quick. Freeze this dude. And that should be enough to take him down, I would hope. I was gonna say. I'm gonna be very surprised about how tough he is if it doesn't. The current's pushing it this way. Ooh, okay. Got him. We're fine, we're fine. So I'm just continuing to look. If things get nasty in any way. Okay, there we go. I can freeze it and start attacking everything around it. I gotta remember that that's an option. Hmm, I do see some stuff under there. Biggest threat is that guy over there, so I will like this. I don't think this thing is destroyable, to be honest with you. It doesn't look like it to me. So I'm trying to leave it be for now. Sneak my way over to this dude, and got him, got him. So I don't have any arrows left, but that's fine. We can earn up more arrows later. I don't see any enemies. I don't see any possible barricades to whatever this is trying to get to. What if this guy's just not here? You know, like, 
Usually, you know, most delivery men, they have like some kind of instruction. You knock on the door a couple times, nobody shows up. Leave it somewhere. Where are we supposed to leave it? I don't know. Maybe just dig it up in the sand. Nobody else can find it, but then how would they find it? This is quite the predicament. All right, I'm just trying to switch weapons so that maybe I can get some gear while we're waiting. It's always useful. And lots of stuff is going along with it, so I'll be able to get some other goodies as well. But it's looking like, I don't know whether somebody's gonna be here or not, but I sure hope they are. Okay, for a second I thought it disappeared. Because this is where it all ends. We've made it to the end for sure. Oh my gosh. It's been a long journey. But here we are. So. Who is this going to get to? Maybe I should let it get there first, just in case. I do not know. I don't trust this for some reason. But it's almost there. Come on, a little bit farther, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> it's going very slow now that there's nothing I have to worry about. Oh, there's somebody there. Ooh, somebody's there. Okay. Almost. I'm gonna be sneaky so he doesn't think I'm spying on him. Even though that'll probably make it seem like I'm definitely spying on him. Hide in the grass. <laughs> oh, he's getting up. Look at him. He knows. Right? Oh, it's getting stuck on the sand now. I might just, oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Something's happening. Uh, Hey, what's up? Sorry for the random question, but have you ever been to Zor's Domain? Yes, <laughs> what if I said no? I see, is it far from here? It's a long ways. I see. Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I am Sasan, the traveling merchant. I was on my way to Zor's Domain, but a love letter in this inlet caught my eye. The writer seems to be a, love, a lovely Zora named Finley. I've been corresponding with her by giving my replies to travelers heading to Zora's domain. So you were following this letter? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. So she asked, oh it is she, okay. Never mind. sorry. So she asked you to come here, or come down here and see what kind of person I am, is that it? Well, earlier I lied and wrote to her that I was a buff traveler. She said she wanted to meet me, but even though I'm dying to meet her, I can't do it. Aww. I've really blown it. If I have, if I, if I had known this would happen, then I'd fall, I'd fall for her. I never would have lied. Isn't she like a child though? That's a little weird. Love reigns supreme, hmm, I suppose it does. You know, hearing that does make me feel a little better. Okay, it's time for me to take a chance and try to meet her. Okay, that reminds me, I wonder if the torrential, if the torrential rain has stopped. She's waiting in Zor's domain. That's what her letter says anyways. Uh. So I'll achieve two goals at the same time and train my muscles on the way up there. I'll get super beefy. Yeah, that's the ticket. I'll run all the way to the, to the domain. Catch you later. We'll meet again at Zor's domain, I'm sure of it. All right, so I guess we have to find them again, but is that the end of the quest? I guess we'll find out here. Uh, I suppose not. So let's take a look at the update. It turns out the Sasan picked up the message. He's heading to Zor's domain to meet Finley now. If you want to see what happens, you should go to Zor's domain too. All right, also, can I? I don't know if setting this as a marker will really do anything. Just gotta go. Oh no, it tells me specifically where to go. That's nice. Okay, so let's go back and find out together. How cool is this? So we're for real getting our final quest of the game done, the side quest of the game. I mean, more will be added once we do the DLC. I haven't even purchased it yet. I wanna make sure that whenever we, I get these kind of games, I wanna 100% complete everything before I do the DLC so I don't accidentally do DLC ahead of time because I just don't like doing that. I'm even that way with like Lego games. I don't play the DLC, I don't even download it until I get the main stuff done. Um, but yeah, let's see what's going on here. So with the Mies Yoma Shrine. But I mean, there's still plenty more we gotta do with that, with the DLC and everything. It's gonna be a while, I'm sure. I'm gonna go over that way. I might just use your volley scale to get over there a little bit more easily so I don't have to climb all that or run up it or anything, and just right over here, hello! Can I eavesdrop? Tee hee. Oh, it's you! Hey, Sasson, this is the guy who made sure my letter reached you safely. Oh, it's you! As you can see, I somehow made it to Zora's domain. Thank you, I managed to work up the courage to finally meet Finley, at least that's how I see it. Thank you so much for introducing me my, to my soulmate. Sasson and I discussed it, and we decided we just had to thank you the next time we saw you. 
So here, this is from the both of us. Thank you for everything. Oh, wow. 300 rupees, very nice. Assassin, be sure to swim and climb and lift and stuff a lot. That will help you build up those muscles, you promised me. Huh? As you wish, my darling. I'll try my best. I mean, I guess like Zoras live a much, much longer time. Huh? And I guess that's the idea. Oh, you, thanks for your, for your help the other day. Right now, I'm waiting for my pen pal, Sassen. <laughs> He's right over there. I hear Hylian Gills call their special someone their boyfriend. Tiki, I like it. Alrighty, so that for real is all 77 side quests done. Hello. Oh, it's you. I somehow made it to Zora's domain about Finley. It seems she's taken quite a liking to me. As I somewhat expected, she's a young woman of Azora who is way older than me and wiser. How confusing. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. She's much older than Sassen, even though she doesn't appear because of the lifespan of Azora. That's pretty interesting. Mm. But her white writing was so splendid. I don't care about her being so much older than I am. In fact, I'm sure she'll only become more lovely with every passing year. Well, that's great. So look at this. So we pause the game again on the bottom right. As you can see, side quest completed 77 out of 77. How insane is that? And of course, we found all of these as well. So yeah, I think that's actually a great place to wrap it up. I had a lot of fun in today's episode. Hopefully you guys did too. Stay tuned soon because I'll be doing some of the DLC very soon as well. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you watched this the video, make sure you comment Xenoblade Zebra so any of watch at the end of the UA Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.